What? No. You don't have a cigarette? No, you can roll that up though and make it look like a cigarette. No, that would look like a joint. A happy cigarette. <laughs> This review is brought to you by Onco.com, which is the world's largest platform for the best cancer doctors. If you know anybody who's battling cancer, tell them about Onco.com and give them the best chance in their fight against cancer. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Ranks with you. It's, this is Corbin. Rick. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you so much. It's so juicy. Trip camera, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you so much. Trip camera, you can follow us uh, today, uh, we are doing a movie review because the first big release of the year, really, there was, yeah. uh, I mean, I guess there was, did we go to the movies in, I feel like there wasn't a lot in January and February. There we went to, uh, no. India. Well, the last thing we saw in theaters, I think, was Chapak. Is that how you pronounce that right? Chapak? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, With the, the pika? The pika. Yeah, I guess that was the first. But then, obviously, Galabo Sotabo. But well, I feel that this is obviously on a bigger level than right. Galabo Sotabo. Yeah. Um, so we are doing a movie review of uh, Sushant Singh's last film, uh, Dil Pachata. Um, the highly, highly, highly awaited film. Yes. Um, because of, uh, you know what. Uh, but uh, this is 100% spoiler me because I feel everybody's watching it already. Yeah, I so, have a feeling the majority of you stupid babies have already seen it. Yeah, so, so if you haven't, review, go watch it, come watch back, it, come back, and then you can you can talk with spoilers with us. Uh, but uh, Dil Bachata starring uh, Shushan Singh, uh, Swastika um, uh, Chatterjee, Mukherjee. Uh, is it Mukher? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. Who's that? Oh, I think somebody misspelled her name. No, no, no. That's a different person. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's Swast. It's Saswata. Oh, Saswata. And gotcha. Swastika Mukherjee. And I know then, that because that's Andrani. Gotcha. Awesome. And then, and then Sanjana Sandhi. Sanjana Sandhi. Uh, and directed by Mukesh Chabra. Chabra. Uh, composed by A. R. Rahman. <laughs> um, and casted by him as well because right. he's actually a casting director. Correct. Anyways. Um, basically a remake of A Fault in Our Stars that we've both never seen, so it was, right. a, it was a new experience for both of us. We know the story, obviously it was a book first, so no, I know the story, never saw A Fault in Our Stars, uh, so this would be my first incarnation of the book on film, same as you. Yeah. Yeah. Initial thoughts, Rick. Um, this review is going to be a little bit different, and I, I, you'll probably agree with me in that it's two separate things for me. Mm-hmm. First, there's the actual movie review for the technicalities of a motion picture. Mm -hmm. The larger, bigger, more important thing for me is what this means in terms of the life of Shashant, what it means culturally for everybody, what it means personally for everybody. And that's, that is, this is one of those times where the, the actual film itself isn't as big as the actual communal event that took place mm -hmm. around it. You know For what I mean? Sure. Because they're, they're, but what's weird, I don't know that I've ever seen anything on film that was the last film of an actor or actress that was almost, not almost, was eerie in art imitating life. Yeah. It, there were a couple of moments, yeah. uh, especially at the end. Mm -hmm. Uh, where it was, I don't know that I've ever seen a film that's that's almost as if, uh, it's like I feel like we went to Shoshan's memorial. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. Yeah, especially obviously, I felt like the character himself, which is we've only seen him in two or three other things, um, and this was I felt his most natural, where it was the most him. Him. Yeah, I think so too. I feel like. Um, because obviously the other ones were, obviously one was a uh, detective, he was almost yeah. larger than life, Sherlock Holmes-ish, and then these guy playing the military, almost a bad guy. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like this is most uh, like a young, innocent, happy about life, wants to... Well, at least, 
a combination of both both genuinely happy about yeah. life and wanting to celebrate it, but simultaneously putting up a facade mm -hmm. where underneath there's a lot of pain that a lot of people don't know about. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this was, so I, I, it's two things for me. And what the larger thing for me is what it means for Shashant. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where, you, do we want to start on the, just the technical thing about the movie and then... Yeah, let's talk about the movie. Okay. Did you enjoy it? Uh, no. Really? Yeah, as a, just a standalone film. If it wasn't, uh, there weren't any blaring flaws, so let me just put it that way. There was nothing in this where I'm pointing at where I was upset with something. Mm -hmm. I wasn't upset with anything. Part of the reason is this just isn't my cup of tea in terms of it, it, it conveyed itself more for me as like a teenage kind of vehicle mm -hmm. than something that had any weight or meat to it or it, it just it just kind of was there and, well i would and it checked off all the commiserate boxes of what a teen movie should be about yeah were you expecting it to be something more than that i was expecting it to be a little bit deeper based on what i've heard about the book oh. well it was a little deeper but obviously it had that bollywood flair to it um uh, on it i i enjoyed the film a lot um, I think it was just, I enjoyed it the same way I enjoyed English of English. As much? Just about. Uh, wow. Yeah, no, just about. Uh, uh, this doesn't even come close to English of English for me. Well, because English of English is nowhere near a technical or a, a revelation in terms of a movie. It's just an enjoyable film. And I felt the exact same. I was smiling throughout most of this film because I liked both of their dynamics uh, between um, Sushant and Sun... I forget her name. Uh, Sanjana. Sanjana. Yeah. Um, I liked their dynamics. I liked her a lot. Yeah, I gotta uh, say, uh, I, I, am, I was very pleased with her in the role. Mm -hmm. um, I, I thought she did a solid job. Mm -hmm. I believed them together. Um, I enjoyed her when she was on screen. I felt she was believable mm -hmm. for the majority of the time. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, but it also, that being said, it wasn't anything where I walked away from it blown away by anything. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I wasn't expecting to be though. I was, that's, that's not something, I'm, I don't know, maybe we wouldn't. With a, well, with a story like this, I, knowing what I've heard about the story, I was expecting it to have something a little bit more gravitas like the sky is pink. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I maybe have it when it, because I thought that's exactly what A Fault in Our Stars was, was a teenage movie about cancer. That's, that's basically all I ever went into that movie thinking about it was. Uh -huh. You have a little, obviously, death, because, you know, they're going to die. Uh, I didn't, I didn't foresee him dying first. Yeah. I expect, I expected uh, them both to die, which right, so that was, that was a twist that I didn't see coming. Yeah. Is that, like, his cancer just came in, in full fury. Right. Uh, like that, and, and knocked him out first, uh, and they had a little, the, what was the word, the Tamil word that they used? Um, Seri. Seri. Yeah. Right? Uh, which was, which was cute. And so, I came away from this film enjoying it, because it was just, it was a cute film. And I was like, that was cute. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, just like I enjoyed English for English. I was like, that was cute. I smiled throughout yeah, most no, of it. Yeah, no, I love English for English. Uh, and so it's, that's, that's how I came out of it. I thought Shushant did a, a good job as a teenager. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't really judging him. Did really. you think he was supposed to be a teenager? Yeah, I thought they were basically teenage, maybe pushing 20s. Well, I know in the book, she's 16, he's 17. Yeah. And I in no way thought that he... I, I put him in early 20s, which was fine. Yeah. But I in no way was thinking he was he was teenage. Oh, no. I, I'm not like teenage 15, 16. I was thinking they were just almost either going out of high school or going in the, or they're in college. Uh, okay. Which I guess they could have been if... I don't know really what school they were in. A bunch of people with cancer yeah. or what that was. Um, but yeah, I, I, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, and I thought the whole team around it did the job that they needed to do uh, as a campy teenage comedy romance tragedy? Yeah, a, a, a romantic comedy. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, or a romantic or dramedy. dramedy. A romantic yeah. dramedy. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, if you didn't like that's fine. I'm not going to really argue with you. I just, it's one of those films, I could, if it was on, I could sit on and I can enjoy the film and, and smile. And they did some cute things, obviously, with the couple that I, I thought, oh, that was really cute. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, but yeah, and, and then I, I agree, though, the, the bigger picture, and that's most obviously why it's going to be a super... I'm guessing um, 
I did read that Hotstar did crash for a while. I'm it crashed for the United States for a while uh, because we didn't get it for at least an hour and a half. To no, and then we also didn't get subs on the songs. I don't yeah. understand that at all. Yeah, that's that, <laughs> that's really strange. We didn't get song, the subs on the songs. It's uh, like, so that we forgot that. So that was weird. Um, but yeah, um, I I went in expecting that, and I got out of it what I thought I was going to get, and so. I yeah, I was I was expecting or at least hoping for something a little more comparable to say uh, the sky is pink or there's another movie I saw. It wasn't the fault on our stars. It was another movie. It's about a young lady who's who's dying from cancer that would have some thespianatic gravitas, for lack of a better terminology. Mm. And yeah, I've, so that's just on that aspect of it. The larger thing for me, like um, I wouldn't watch it again. Mm. Um, if it was on, I would rather watch the other two Shashant films we've seen to watch Shashant. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I don't. There's no blaring flaws. It just wasn't. It didn't really float my boat. The um, larger thing that was so strange to me was, and of course, I did shout Sartaj. Um, when he was <laughs> that on was the screen. Quite, it was I actually really enjoyed his cameo um, because one I'd forgotten at that point in the movie that he was in it. I had two. I knew he was in it, but I'd right. forgotten at that Me time. Me too. That I had forgotten coming. he's in, and so I was like, "Oh, Sartaj, Sartaj, that's, that's cool. right." I thought his character was cool. I didn't like what they did with the audio behind it. I thought that gave there was a lot. There was they put really dramatic audio when he was doing his whole rant. Yeah, there were some. Things. I thought it could have been just as powerful if he was just you know uh, giving it. Without the audio behind it, yeah. And so I didn't enjoy that. I thought his. I was like, oh, that that was cool, Cammy. That was cool. Yeah, I I, I, <laughs> there were some spots that were overscored for me, and it, it just they were literally pulling on the strings. Yeah, yeah. It's, but uh, I love what was weird to me was uh, I, I also based on the book what I know about the book that character is supposed to be an author, not a songwriter. So they changed they it. They changed up. it. From yeah, they changed it from them connecting with books. To connecting through music, cool. which is fine. I would prefer the original. I like the idea of them being both in love with literature and maybe connecting with a writer, but that's just being nitpicky. I don't have a problem with that at all. The thing that was utterly bizarre, I don't know if it was like a weird moment for you, mm -hmm. was when they get in the fight with him in the restaurant and he says something to the effect of suicide is not legal and one of you is going to be dead before this is over. Mm -hmm. It was just really... Are you talking about the fort, like foreshadowing almost? Of Shashant's Shashant. freaking life. Yeah. That, that for me was, um, I, I, I would tell people, like, if you care about Shashant, and here we are just getting to know the guy, mm -hmm. um, you have to make this the last film since it was his last film. You have to, you really should see it if you mm -hmm. care about Shashant. Yeah. Um, it, I don't, there's, there's nothing to watch this in terms of, and I, you know, I don't even want to get hypercritical about the things because I feel like this is a much, the bigger thing I mentioned, the fact that this is his last film, the fact that there's no glaring problems with it, it's just not something I really enjoyed. But as in terms of it literally being his, the fact that he's sitting there and it's in the story, it's part of the story mm -hmm. where Manny's character is at his own freaking, he wants to hear his own eulogy. Mm -hmm. And you're watching Shashant for, imagine this film for Heath, mm -hmm. if he played that character, or Philip Seymour Hoffman. And I bring them up because those are actors who we followed their careers for years and had a deep emotional connectivity to, especially with you and Heath. Mm -hmm. I, can't I can't imagine how hard this film, I bet there's a lot of Shashant fans who haven't watched this yet. Who might not watch this for a while? Oh yeah, we've seen this conversation. Could you time. imagine Robin Williams doing this film mm -hmm. as his last film? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It would be you just be. It's for me. It was jaw dropping that it was. It was almost as if it was almost as if he knew he wouldn't be here and this was going to be his last film. That's how eerie it was to me. Yeah. It did. There was definitely some some moments like that in the film that yeah you, you definitely felt that, that and that that's what made me cry. Are you cry? I cried. I cried not because I cared necessarily about the characters that much. I didn't get that invested in the story to care enough about the characters, mm -hmm. but because of knowing that this young, bright, talented young man is gone. Yeah, that got me. 
Yeah, for sure. That was probably the closest I'd ever gotten to crying. Not this film. Um, I didn't cry. Um, but it, it, when I walked out of Heath's last, like when the credits started rolling in Heath's last film, which was Imaginary of Dr. Parnassus, I got teary-eyed mm. just because I was like, I'm never going to be able to never do this again. again. Right, never yeah, see so, yeah, his yeah, name I totally credits understand again. that. Um, in, in that, but also uh, Swastika, uh, our, our beautiful and friend. Bob. And Bob. Yeah. Uh, if you know who we're referring to, obviously the, the legend of Bengali cinema, he played uh, Bob in Kahani. That was our first exposure to him. So whenever I see him, uh, he is always going to be, I thought, Bob. I thought Bob and uh, Swastika did really, really well. Totally uh, one, horrible. I didn't even see the person we talked to in Swastika because she, she looked so much older and matronly. She did. She did, definitely took on that matronly role. And she I, I've seen in a lot of other of the... Bollywood films uh, that we've seen, she uh, I, I saw like the other mothers. Uh, she seemed very motherly, uh, and so I thought she did a great job. I thought the those, dad did a great job. Yeah, those were my favorite. If I have a favorite thing in the film, mm -hmm. like the parts, the parts that for me began to enter into the realms of me going, ah, I'm starting to really enjoy this. I never really got there. Was the interactive moments with the family, whether it was Shashant was at the house and they're interacting, the relationship he had with the dad and the relationship that the mom and the daughter had together. Also hats off to, I'm in no way, shape or form a Bengali expert. I would never pretend to be that just because Indrani is the love of my life. Mm -hmm. But I do know and read up on the homework this young lady did, because she isn't Bengali. Who, the writer? No, the actress. Oh, gotcha. The, the lead, her, um, um, uh, San, um, Sanjana Sanghi, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, who plays Kizzy. She did a lot, she did months of work because she's from New Delhi mm -hmm. and she did months of work to portray a Bengali girl and, 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 and saturating herself in culture and saturating herself with trying to get in uh, uh, a dialect that would uh, communicate and convey she was Bengali while she's speaking Hindi. And apparently there was a point on set where uh, Swastika wasn't aware of the fact that she wasn't. Bengali. Oh, really? And was thankful that they had gotten someone who was Bengali, which for her was the highest, that would be the highest form of compliment. Mm -hmm. If you're going to play a Bengali person and Swastika says, oh, I'm glad you're Bengali, and you're like, actually, no, I've just been studying. So, I, really great dedication. Yeah, I thought she did a phenomenal job. Uh, mm -hmm. Sanjana Sun. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to see more of her. I don't know if she's like newer. She is. She's, I think it said introducing. Well, because she was in Rockstar, it looks like, and Hindi Medium. But I don't know how big of a role. I bet they're teeny tiny and her people were able to say, because she's a lead for the first time, we can build her as introducing. Uh, yeah, it looks like she's really, really, she played yep. Mandy. Yep. Uh, I don't know who that was. No, really small, I guarantee, tiny. She has a bright future ahead. She actually has almost like a Priyanka vibe going on at some, t uh, some times in terms of her presence. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't get that. Um, well, you didn't appreciate Priyanka until like three movies in, so. Yeah, but there was a, <laughs> th that was her thespianatic capabilities. I always I always recognized that she had a, a, a screen presence. Oh no, yeah, I thought she had, um, I think she has great screen presence and I, I am hoping she's gonna, just she doesn't look like she has anything in production, but obviously that's before this <laughs> film and it's obviously. As with COVID right now. Uh, with COVID. Well, um, and this now, people will watch her. She'll get She'll be getting offers. Um, but I'm hoping she does, because I, I thought she did really, really well. Uh, um, what I'm most pleased by is she was very grounded. Yeah, she was. Very grounded, very believable. I didn't I didn't grasp, as apparently you did, a level of magnetism and screen presence that drew me in at the level where I was like, okay, who's this magnificent newcomer? But again, um, I don't, I don't want to say that and sound like I'm critical of her, because I'm not being critical in any way. It's just, it didn't blow me away by any stretch. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let us know what your thoughts on uh, this film was. Uh, Dil Bachata. Dil Bachata, right? Yes. Um, and what you thought of it and how dumb or stupid one or two of us are, or we both are, or... Oh, neither of us are. Oh, just wait. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. It, there's, there's... Well, obviously... Because I didn't love the movie, I'm an idiot. Uh, you know, that's most reviews, though. Well... Because you're an idiot. Well, I mean, it's hard. It's hard for you to be critical of people to call you an idiot when you're an idiot. No. Yeah. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, let us know what film. I can't. I'm, I wish. I wish there were more new films coming out that we could know. 
I know there's OTT ones, there's the Nawaz one coming out, and then there's other ones. But I wish there was. I, I wish we the could say. Too. I wish we could say. You know, I'm looking forward to what Shashant's gonna do. Yeah, that's yeah. But next to Shashant film, since we are still new to him, Kaipo Che, yeah, the, uh, the MS Donny one, yeah, uh, I know he has some other ones. So let us know down below the next Sushant film we should watch down below. Talking about cancer treatment. For patients who get diagnosed with cancer, finding the best treatment can be hard. Finding the best doctor can be hard. There's always a state of confusion and panic and not knowing what to do. Getting the right doctor and the right treatment is critical with cancer. And Onco.com helps you get that. Onco.com is the largest platform for the best cancer specialists in the world. Through Onco.com, you can A, talk to cancer doctors from the comfort of your home, and B, book appointments with the best doctors in your area. In addition, Onco.com's care team is there to guide you every step of the way. Over 100,000 cancer patients across 18 countries have used Onco.com to plan their cancer treatment. If anyone you know has cancer, please tell them about Onco.com or call them at 79965 79965 and use the coupon code OSR for a free online option. Let's get back to the review.